Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, as me and John, after tonight, are taking uh, today and Friday, or tomorrow and Friday off. So uh, those days, uh, Friday, you'll be seeing a double graphic from us um, um, as John is taking Friday off to spend time with his family, and I am taking it off for a mental rehabilitation, as I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's not that I'm tired from doing this or anything, it's just kind of, um, mentally tired. And been a long week. Yeah. Um, today the Nashville Predators took on the Detroit Red Wings, but much before I get into that, I would like to break. Thank our sponsor, Hockey Locker. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right. So today the Predators took on the Red Wings. Shots by period. Shots in the first period. Nashville outshot Detroit 7-6. In the second period, Nashville outshot Detroit 12 to 11. In the third period, Detroit outshot Nashville 12 to 7. And in total, Detroit outshot Nashville 29 to 26. Now, in the faceoff circle, the Red Wings were better 61% to 40 over the Predators. <clears throat> On the power play, the Predators went 0 for 3. The Red Wings went 1 for 2. The Red Wings had six penalty minutes, the Predators four. Hits, the Red Wings had 29, the Predators had 18. Blocks, the Red Wings had 23, the Predators had nine. And giveaways, the Red Wings had 17, and the Predators eight. All right, scoring in the first, nothing. Scoring in the second, Dylan Larkin, still a very capable hockey player. Uh, with, an, with his nice with an assist from uh, David Perron, the former uh, St. Louis. <clears throat> um, uh, the uh, then that was at the four oh nine mark. Uh, then they score again on the power play. Uh, Phil Bronick, his fifth with an assist from Bergen, his third. Um, and then in the uh, third period, um, Michael Rasmussen. Uh, scored his third with an assist from Ernie, his seventh, and Hronik, his eleventh. Um, Rasmussen is one hockey player I really like the way he plays. Yeah. Um, I, I by no means do I like Detroit, but I like the way he plays. Just like Mo Sider and Huso had a really good game. Um, he was stuck behind Bennington and and St. Louis, and when St. Louis traded him, and then Detroit brought in uh, David Perron during the off season. Um, look out, Detroit's on on the move. You know, um, I I say this because um, Detroit right now is sitting in a playoff spot. Right. We're not. We're not even close. I mean, we are kind of two points out, but with a game in hand against everyone behind us, uh, Chicago, we have two. Arizona, we have two. Vancouver, we have one. Anaheim, we have one. Um, I mean, with the, the two from Arizona and a win today from Arizona – would put them at 18. Another would, uh, would put them at 20 right there with us. So, um, and, and Chicago, uh, two wins would put them at 19. And if they beat us, that doesn't help. Right. So, um, right now, Chicago's beating Dallas 3-1. to one. Uh... Uh, Colorado and Vancouver just got underway. Vancouver's already up one nothing. Uh, Minnesota beat uh, Winnipeg six to one. 
Arizona beat the uh, Hurricanes four to nothing. Uh, St. Louis got blasted by Buffalo six to two. I watched that game too. I have double TVs going. Um, I wanted to see those red and black saber jerseys that I've been yammering about. <laughs> I finally got to see them on ice. I was so happy. <laughs> nice. It was like a throwback to my childhood. So many people. I saw somebody on, on Twitter bashing it. I'm all like, you have no sense of hockey history at all. Or the fact that Hockey logos are supposed to look fierce. I mean, these are probably two of the better fierce looking logos. Yeah. In hockey. And we have both of them that we cover. And for lack of a better term, when we covered the Everblades or the Norfolk Admirals, well, the Admirals had just the old school. But they had the old school logo. I, I would never expect them to change it. But I remember when they had the boat with the with the uh, um, cannons on it and stuff like that. I remember that when they were in the AHL. Um, up next for us will be the twenty sixth is when we will be returning. Um, I do believe the Admirals are playing Rockford that day, as they also play them on Friday as well. Like I said, you guys, I'm saying this now, you guys could see me that day, potentially. Um, also, I don't know if there were any injuries tonight. I know somebody went to the locker room. I'm unsure if they returned. I could barely hear the commentary. Um, so, um... I'm unsure. I would I'm gonna definitely have to take a look at ice times here. Uh do, do, do. everything looks about right. Yeah, everything looks about right. Uh, your scratches for Nashville were Yakov Trader and Ellie Tolvanen. Um, scratches for Detroit were Gustav Lindstrom, Robert Hag, and my good old buddy Magnus Helba. Um, and I say good old buddy because, hi, buddy. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll hit you up sometime after the holiday. Hope the wife and family are doing well. I'll see y'all later. Hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. Remember, Turkey has tryptophan. Don't drive and eat. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all later.